All right, and you can hear me okay, right? Good. So, so what have we got here? I want to say, okay, this is 27 feet from here to here. Okay. Um, and I'm noticing, do we all notice that you could draw a parallel line across here like that? And this would be 9 from here to here. Can we all see that? And then what would it be from here to here? 21. It says it right there, right? Now, just for fun, everybody, do you notice there's lots of rooms and there's lots of numbers? Can anyone figure out, just tell me the full distance from here to here? Because, look, here's what I'm thinking. When I look at that, I go, look, it, I just want to know, first of all, because they said to, to leave off the garage, right? So they said to, first of all, just leave the garage off. I just want to know, what is the square foot of this purple rectangle? That's all I'm looking for, right? So I actually just want you, could you all just figure out, like, just tell me, what's the full distance from here to here? And then what's the full distance from here all the way to here? Do you know what I mean? Like, like this full distance and this full length. This full length, this full width, whatever you want to call it. What's that? And then what's that? So so this is 30. So this is 30, right? How would you get 30? Yeah, no, 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 I, I heard you, but 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 let's start one, uh, let me direct here. This is 30 from here to here, isn't it? No, you did, or did you say that? No. No. <laughs> okay, let me ask that. What, if this is 9 and this is 21, what's the distance from here to here? 30. That's definitely 30. Okay, good. That's what I wanted, because look, I just want to get this rectangle. Forget about all the rooms in there. They just want to know... What's the area of the floor plan without the garage? So take the garage away, get this distance, and then get this distance. So this is 30. Now, what's the distance from here all the way to here? What do you think? Do you think you multiply the, all the numbers up here or times them? Good. Right. Well, 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 why should, well, don't do it because the teacher said, like, why, why should we add them? Why does that make sense? It's 36 and 14. Right. See, that's the key. So do you understand, do all, everyone watching understand why, how we would get this length up here, this up, upper length up here? You've got to add them. Look, that's 30 feet over there. And if you add 6, you get 36 feet, right? If you add 14, you get 50 feet, don't you? Or go the other way. Here we're at 14 feet, add 6, and we get to 20. 14 plus 6 is 20, isn't it? Right? And 20 plus 30 is 50, isn't it? So that's 50 feet from here to here, isn't it? Do you agree that's 50 feet from here to here? Great. So that's 50. So now we have this purple rectangle, and I want to get the area. It's 50 feet times 30 feet, right? And just a quick reminder of area, in case anyone wants a quick refresher. Let, let me just give you all a simple one. Here's a simple one. This is just a little closet. This is a little closet. It is, here's one foot, here's one foot. It's two feet. See how it's two feet in this direction? Okay? Two feet deep. Little closet where you hang your clothes or something, right? And I'm just going to make it one foot across here and then another foot and then another foot and then another foot. So that would be one, two, three, four feet in this direction. Are you with me? Do you see that? Okay. This little square is one foot by one foot. That's why it's called one square foot. One square <laughs> foot. Does that make sense? It is a area. It's a square. 
And this is how we measure area with squares. How many squares do you see? Eight squares. There's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares, okay? Eight square feet. There's another square foot. It's got one foot in this direction, one in this direction. It's an area. It's a little tile. It's a tile. We've got eight tiles, right? Eight little squares. How many squares do we need to cover the floor? Like, how would we calculate that, by the way? We go, this is four foot across and two foot across here. So how do you calculate the area? Good. Four times two gives eight. Good. Yep. Eight square feet. And it's written like this. Eight square feet. Which means eight of these tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little squares. Eight tiles. And it's also written like this. Eight FT squared. See that? That's like the mathy way of writing it. With a little squared on top. Okay, eight square feet. And it means eight of these little tiles that are one foot by one foot. Are you with me? Okay. Good. So, so my question to you then is, if I had a rectangle uh, room that was, let's say, 13 feet by, uh, by um, 7 feet, how would I get the area? Yeah, 13 times 7, 21, carry 2, 91 square feet. That would be 91 square feet. Make sense? Now, obviously, this is not. I can barely fit my thumb in there. It's not 91 square feet. This is just a picture of it, right? A little drawing, right? A bad drawing. But there are 91 little square feet in there. There's one of them, you know. Here's another one. You know what I mean? If you if you took little tiles, there would be, if you were putting tiles in this room, you would get 91 of them into this room. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. All right, so back to here. We've got this purple rectangle. It's 50 times 30. What is the area of this purple rectangle? Yes. Yes, 1,500 square watts. Feet, good. Also written FT squared, right? Ah, onto the garage, because that's without the garage, isn't it? This is, this is without garage. What about if we add on the garage? So we have to figure out what is the area of the garage? Right, I'll make that orange. The area of the garage. It is 27 feet in this direction, right? So we kind of want to know, well, how far is it in this direction? Can you figure that out? Because we got one side. If we have the other side, we can just multiply and get the area of the garage, can't we? 27. You would say that's 27? Try again. Hint, look across, look all the way over to this side and what do you see? Ah, does you think it's 21 or 27? Yeah, I have a really bad drawing, so I actually made it look like it was a square, didn't I? Terrible drawing. Look at your, look at your book, everybody, and you'll see that it, it, it's drawn a lot better. <laughs> you'll see that it's kind of longer this way, isn't it, right? And up and down, it's just 21, just 21 feet, actually. You see that? With cross, it's 27. On my terrible drawing, it looks like it's a square. I'm so sorry. But yeah, look, it's supposed to be 21 up and down, right? Okay. So how do we get the area of the garage? Brilliant. So take your time. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 2 is 2. Put down a 0. Multiply by 2. 2 times 7, 14. Carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 is 5. And then add. 
576 square feet. Six, seven. <laughs> I can't even read. 567 square feet for the garage. So, without the garage, we had 1,500 square feet. FT with little squared. With uh, the garage on its own was 567. F, oh, I'll do that in black. 567 FT squared. So what is it together? Plus. Good. So just add the 1,500 with the 567 and you should get 2,067. So together, um, so in other words, with, ah, the garage, we have 2,067 square feet. Now to me, this is a good example. This is real life. This is actually a typical house size, a small apartment, or you know, a small house size, or um, dining room, living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, yeah, that's enough. You could live in that, um, for sure. So, anyway, good, good, good work. Well done.